Lighthouse is Escape from Tarkov's latest map, released with patch 12.12 .12 about 3 weeks ago, and it seems that the majority of the player base has still not discovered the map's insane money making potential. That's why in this video I'll be showing you a 7 minute loot run that contains anything from military corrugated hoses, to bitcoins, to intel. Quickly before the video starts, I'd like to mention that if this loot route helps you out and you want to see more content from me, I'd really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing and dropping a like. They really do help out the channel, and if we get enough likes, we can have a pizza party at the end of the year. Anyway, now on to the video. So a majority of this loot route takes place in the middle of the map right next to the river, and it primarily focuses on looting the village and the sunken village to the northwest. Just like any other loot route, keys are very useful, but not required, and I will be showing where the keys are when we get to them. There are about 6 spawns near the loot route which are ideal, and you have an approximate 45% chance of spawning in one of them. For this video we'll be starting in the south near the waterfront cabins, but it doesn't really matter where you spawn as long as you spawn in one of the 6 spawns. Alrighty, so we've spawned here in the south by the waterfront cabins, and what we're going to do is immediately head up these rocks to the Marin Car. The Marin Car is one of the best keys on the map. You can spawn bitcoins, vertexes, aces, things like that. If you don't have the key, just continue across the parking lot to the main road. Once you get to the main road, check this trailer and these boxes for various industrial items such as military corrugated hoses, thermite, and TP200 bricks. Next, head across the road, and if you're a bear, be sure to use the dirt mound and dump truck as cover from the rogues, and once you get to the other side, stay low in the ditch. They most likely won't aggro you from here, since it's only happened to me once, but still, better safe than sorry. The next stop in our path is the convenience store, and we're going to be focusing on the locked room in there. It requires the convenience store storage room key, and you can find rare items such as lions, teapots, and clocks, as well as random medical supplies and food. After that, we'll head to the building right next to it, which I call Orphanage. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but if it isn't, it should be. Alright, we're here at the Orphanage, and what we're going to do is head to this room on the left, and check this box in the corner. You can find things like graphics cards, aces, and VPXs here. Next, we'll head across the hallway and check this bucket for rare items, and then check this room for rare items as well, right there. After that, we'll head upstairs and into this room on the left. Two jackets are here. You have intel spawns and a rare item spawn on this desk, as well as medical supplies on the bed and beside the bed. Over in this room, rare items can spawn anywhere along these shelves in this chair, and on these shelves. Last thing for the orphanage, we're going to head across the hall and check this bed for a rare item spawn, and then go into this room and check the tech spawn right next to the laptop. Once we're done in the orphanage, head deeper into the village to the hillside house. This house requires the... wait for it... hillside house key, which I had the incredible luck of finding early in the wipe. If you don't have it, don't worry, it isn't that important to the overall loot run, you'll still be making good money. And if you do want it, you can barter for it on the flea. Alrighty, for hillside house key, immediately you have a jacket here, rare item spawn on this couch, rare item spawn in there. Under this desk you have a rare item slash tech spawn, another rare item spawn in here. And sometimes there's a rare item in this bed, uh, so just like hover over because it sometimes clips into the mattress itself. In this room, you have a rare item spawn there, rare item spawn here, and then a rare item slash tech spawn in the sink. And then the rest of the room is just food there, and food here, and sometimes food up there. After the hillside house, head across to the red brick building, which I so intelligently call red. Immediately in red, you have rare items that can spawn on this shelf. There's a tech spawn down here, and more rare items on this shelf. If you head upstairs, this room is the big room. You have a tech spawn here, another tech spawn there, 
and then a more minor tech spawn like power banks and UV lights here and there. There's nothing in this room, and then in this room you can have a rare item spawn here and a rare item spawn there. Once you finish in red, head up the road towards Intel House. Entering Intel House, you have a duffel bag on this sofa and a food spawn on this chair. This room has four rare item spawns, one spawns here, one spawns here, one spawns here, one spawns right there. Always double check the chair and the pillow for items clipping inside. Smaller things like big coins and skulls sometimes do that. Intel spawns in the top shelf of this cabinet and this room has a jacket here and an industrial spawn here. So pliers and corrugated hoses. Uh, and then the rest of the room is just food spawns. Following Intel House, head down to the river and cross it using the wooden bridge. I like to stick on these rocks because they provide cover from people who might be coming over the hill above red. Alright, the sunken village is actually really good and I don't think many people know about it. There's an alcohol slash ammo spawn here and a rare item spawn in there. This is a toolbox. Head across the road to this house. And you've got a rare item spawn in this bucket and behind this chair. The house with the broken roof has a jacket right here, industrial spawn on this chair, medical spawn there, and a rare item spawn on this plank of wood right here. This outhouse has four rare item spawns. One is here, 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 and here. Usually it's like one or two items, but I've seen three and four. The house right next to it has a rare item spawn on this sofa and a rare item spawn on this chair. There's food spawns there, and there, and there. The last place we'll hit in this village is this garage. You can find pressure gauges and corrugated military hoses on this saw right here. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the loot route. If you took that spawn and ended up here, from here you can go to Path to Shoreline, which is an extract right over there. Or if you want, you can go up this mountain, up to there, and farm rogues. If you don't know how to farm rogues, I'll be releasing a video very shortly on how to do that. So, subscribe if you want to see that. If you spawned somewhere up here and ended where we started, you can take the shore to the left and head to the southern road extract. Like live recording Mamamisi said, that is pretty much the end of the loot run. It takes just under 7 minutes to fully complete with all the keys, and I'd like to mention that the recording for this was done in an offline raid, which have less loot spawning, so in actual raids you'll be finding a lot more. Additionally, if you're meeting too many PMCs because this video definitely blew up and popularized this loot run so much, I suggest attempting to do it in a night raid. Other than that, if this video helped you out, please consider dropping a like. If you'd like to see more content from me, subscribing is free. And please let me know how your loot runs went in the comments down below. I have a Twitch channel, which I occasionally stream Tarkov on, and a Discord server where I spam memes and announce when new videos go up. So if you'd like to be among the first to catch a video, I suggest joining. I hope you have a wonderful day, and don't fucking forget to put the bitcoins and GPUs up your butt.